All right, welcome back. So today we want to show you a little go bag that we have. Um, this is not a survival bag. This is like a or or a bug out bag. This is a bag that will get you back to where you're staying, living, camping, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's designed to be minimal, to get you and another person um, through a day or two, like I said, back to where your all your other equipment is, or uh, you know where your friends and family are. This bag in particular is pretty small. Everything's locked up with a carabiner here, so it can't come open. It's got multiple ways to carry it from the top, from the side. It's got a zipper compartment here. It's padded and it's a single strap to go over your chest. It's adjustable, so it's a, it's a real good book bag. It's got a water bottle holder there, so as you can see, we have a water bottle in there on the outside. But we're gonna go through everything in the bag and show you what we have. It's been packed for a long time. You know, we've been in and out of it here and there. Uh, some of the things are probably expired, so it is good to go through your bags uh, once in a while to check all those items, so we may come across some expired things in here. Also, this is not a catch-all. Uh, this bag may not suit you. It may not suit your family or your friends. Uh, so build your bag accordingly. If you have any medicines, stuff like that, make sure you pack that to stay healthy. But we're going to open it up and just go compartment by compartment. So it's held together, like I said, by a lot of uh, safety straps and um redundancy here so stuff doesn't come open so people can't grab it and open it on you so it'll take a second to open here what does that tag say um pull for solutions <laughs> so this was a, a contractor that had set up a table and i went, I went past it so we give them a little little love on the channel i don't even know if they're still a company but um the first pack here I think we can just separate it and take it off. It'll be easier. All right, this is the first bag here. Uh, this is actually a little cheap Amazon kit. Um, Supplogy, or however you want to pronounce that. Uh, this was just a, uh, a, an Amazon quick find. The links will be in the descriptions for this thing. Uh, it just had a lot of decent little things in it, uh, we thought. So right here we have a solar light you know that's that's good for whatever got a couple chem sticks here these are good for marking things some hemp rope um this is good for a lot of things starting fires and stuff like that a whistle for signaling we got a, a ferro rod here so this is this is gonna be um Kind of a lifesaver almost because it can get wet uh they have cheaper versions more expensive versions generally they all do the same thing they will eventually spark you just uh you know some of them just come with a lot of cheap paint on here or cheap handles but the actual rod and the striker um just make sure it's a sharp edge and the rod is decently thick and they all do about the same thing so don't get too caught up in that here some 550 cord it's excellent uh, to have to string things up. Small, cheap compass. Wouldn't rely on this, but it is generally accurate. Uh, so that is facing the proper direction. We do know that for a fact on our land. So um, this at least will get you in the direction uh, of where you got to go. It's got a whistle on here. And again, another little ferro rod. Uh, redundancy is the thing here because multiple things can happen. Things can get wet. Things can get lost. We got a spork here, spoon, metal. Um, we don't like the plastic ones because they could break, but this one is solid. Probably aluminum or cheap steel. It's got a can opener on there. Um, make sure you get a quality spoon. A pen to be able to write. It's important. And a window smasher. This can also be used as a weapon. To go ahead and hit and you know hit things with if you need to. Here's a first aid kit, and these cheap first aid kits are generally filled with just your basic, you know, trauma bandage, some cleaning stuff. 
Q-tips, tape, um, rubber band, some more gauze, more gauze, and more gauze. So generally, I mean, this it's a decent kit, you know, for the price. I think this thing was like 25 bucks maybe, you know, so not bad. Oh, actually, there's some more in here. Sorry about that. So you got a fishing kit. You got a uh, emergency thermal blanket. These are excellent. This can save your life. We got a uh, one of those cheap little finger handsaw things. Nah, I never had luck with these. I guess they'll work. Uh, I mean, better to have it. You know, wouldn't count on it though. This is one of those like ninja credit card things that has the multi tools. It's actually pretty sharp. Can opener, flathead screwdriver. Couple different hex sizes, um, stuff to draw, and that's why having that pen's important in case you have a map with you, so you can map where you're going. But that thing's very sharp. I'm gonna put that back away and cut my fingers on it. But we'll get into the next part now. The book bag here. All right, like we said, we had the water bottle on the side there. That's really all that's on the outside. We will start by opening up different parts here again we haven't been in this a while so we don't know what's in here uh, flashlight that's always a good device to have uh, we got here. oh we got another thermal blanket it's a casualty blanket so this is actually a, a really good one insect mitten all right inside here we have a little huh, medical kit. I love it. Anti-diarrhea right on top. <laughs> That's excellent. Uh, this is just all types of medicines. Um, you can carry different things. This is like a topical ointment for um, rashes and skin infections. Um, some towelettes. And just all just basic different types of medicine. Um, aspirin. I don't even know what that is. Oh, caffeine. That's uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine. Keep you up. So, I mean, if you're in a survival situation, you're trying to get back, you really you really don't want to sleep. More Band-Aids. Uh, these are Vaseline-covered gauze. So that's really good. Um, what are these? Oh, these are anti-diarrhea. Whatever medicine that is. But they're definitely expired, so probably give you diarrhea. Hmm. Um, Alright, moving right along. Let's see what else we got here. Good old tourniquet. Make sure you pack a tourniquet. Oh, another type of ferro rod here. Uh, this one actually has an accelerant. So, ferro rod and accelerant. Um... Just again, another fire starting tool. This one's waterproof, it's soaked in wax. So, we got some 550 cord again. And we got a sewing kit. Alright, that's it for the bottom pocket. Let's go into the top pocket here. Alright, we got some quick, uh, quick clock combat gauze. This here um, will stop, uh, you know, temporarily, st temporarily stop any type of external bleeding, bullet holes. Uh, I think this one is made out of, does it not have shellfish in it? Some of these were made with shellfish, and you have to be very careful if you have a shellfish uh, allergy. Check your packaging. I don't see on here. Um, yeah, no. This one probably has shellfish in it, because it doesn't say anything on there. But be careful, because uh, that can be very dangerous if you're allergic to it. In here, we just have more tons of alcohol pads, uh, Israeli um, bandages, and some Kleenex. In case you gotta blow your nose or wipe something. So that's really it on the outside. Now we'll go into the inside here. Uh, the inside here is where it gets interesting. A little more stuff in here. Um, this is an AR-7. We're not going to show it because YouTube 
um, likes to flag things, and we don't want to get our videos flagged, so we just want to make good content for you guys. But anyways, this is an AR7. It packs up totally in the buttstock here. It's waterproof. Um, it's a 22 long rifle. So it's a U.S. survival rifle. Pilots used to carry these back in the 60s on their planes and 70s in Vietnam. Uh, just an excellent small weapon to have. All right, uh, moving along. Got to have ammunition for it. So that's the 22 LR ammunition. Just a small case of it. A knife is always good to have. This is an underwater kinetics. It is uh, a marine knife. It floats. It's saltwater safe. Um, it doesn't rust, anything like that. It's, uh, it's a very extremely sharp knife. So have uh, tools of the trade on you to survive. All right, moving right along, we have more water. So as you see there, we've got about 40, 30, 40 ounces of water. Um, another small water bag. This is for the Sawyer system. So we'll show that real quick. The Sawyer system is another type of water um, filtration system that allows you to pull dirty water essentially from anywhere. And that's the setup there. You got a syringe to back flush it and it screws on and everything. Uh, you can hook it. It's, it's threaded for your standard, you know, um, bottle caps and all that. So this will filter, I think it says 100,000 gallons of dirty water. So excellent device to have. Uh, don't rely just on one filter, especially too when you're uh, filtering water. Because some waters can have extremely bad pathogens in it. So uh, we have a secondary type of system here. And you can get this in Walmart or whatever. These are just little iodine, uh, I believe it is. Iodine is something else. But this will kill like Cryptosporidium, Giardia, any type of um, biological stuff in there. I think it kills. So you just read the label. But it's always good to have multiple systems. Again, another fire. This uh, aviation fire starting kit. Tinder and everything. Bar of soap, that's always good in case you gotta clean anything. Soap is excellent to have on you. And last but not least, some emergency rations. This here is 3,600 calories. So there's nine bars in here. Uh, wait, let's see, 24, yeah, nine 400 calorie bars. So if you're on the move, you see you got three, six, nine. If you're on the move, you would eat three of these a day. That's three days, 72 hours. You could stretch these out. You know, um, you just can't be doing a lot of movement if you're if you're not eating a lot of this. But this will get two people through a day, or one person through a couple days. Um, it's used on marine vessels and everything. It's Coast Guard approved, and they're vacuum sealed. So I think this one's good till 2025. Or maybe 2024 next year. So stick around the channel. We're definitely going to eat these before they go bad. So are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, actually I am. Yeah, so these uh, these actually taste like shortbread cookies. Like really dry shortbread cookies. And the uh, theory behind this is you can eat these and not need water. Because when you're, when you're eating normal food, your body uses water to process waste. So when you're in the ocean, what can't you? You're surrounded by water. You can't drink, can't it. drink it. So this this is a survival, a naval survival type ration, but it is excellent for being on the land because um, it'll also curb your thirst here. You know when you're on land, so um, you won't need much water. Uh, it's still obviously we're carrying you know thirty something ounces of water. So again, a couple days supply. This is not a um, this is not a full-on bug-out bag. This is a go bag. This gets you from A to B uh, to get your bug-out bag and leave. So, hope this gives you guys some ideas. Uh, if you have suggestions, drop a comment. We like constructive criticism. Again, this is not a catch-all. This is just what we had thrown together over the years. And it's good to have multiple bags as well. Um, so, again, just have options. Alright, well... That's it. Thanks for watching. Hit that share button, smash the like, and we'll see you in another video.